Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered what is the slowest thing in the world? Cheetahs, peregrine falcons and sailfish take all the glory living in a high-speed blur, but it's animals that live in a slow lane that are the real masters of survival. The top speed of a giant tortoise has been measured at 0.2 miles per hour. In a 100 meter race, it would take one 18 minutes and 38 seconds to cross the line. But of course, these reptiles can live to be 150 years old, so it's not like they're in a hurry. Another creature not to be rushed is the sloth, the world's slowest mammal, averaging about 0.1 miles per hour. But they've got good reason to be slow. Their diet consists mostly of leaves, which contain very few nutrients. Imagine eating nothing but lettuce for breakfast, lunch and dinner for a week. You probably wouldn't be feeling too energetic either. Being slow is simply a way for them to conserve the little energy available to them. But believe it or not, the sloth is actually one of our fastest contenders. The garden snail moves along the ground at 0.3 miles per hour. They propel themselves by generating a series of wave-like patterns along this foot, which drives them forward. Snails also produce a sticky mucus, which has some unusual properties. Initially, it acts like a glue, allowing them to stick to vertical surfaces. Surfaces. But when the snail pushes down on the mucus, it becomes more fluid, allowing them to glide across hard surfaces. Much like a snail, sea anemones can move around without any legs. Most stay in exactly the same spot, but some do creep around to find new feeding sites. However, it's an extremely slow process. At best, they can reach approximately 8 centimetres per hour, meaning it would take the sea anemone 52 days to complete our 100 metres. To race. But even this could be considered a sprint in comparison to geological movements. Some glaciers travel as little as 300 metres per year, but this velocity isn't constant. In the summer, warmer temperatures and increased rainfall lubricates the boundary layer of rock and ice, allowing the glacier to slip and move faster. The Earth's tectonic plates also move at varying speeds, depending on their geographical location. The slowest in the world is the Eurasian plate, which moves at about 9.5 millimetres per year. On average, tectonic plates are said to move as slow as your fingernails grow, which is about 3 to 4 centimetres per year, depending on the finger. Researchers have found that the nails on your dominant hand grow the fastest, with the fingernails on your longest fingers growing the quickest. But the slowest growing nails are those on your toes. They grow about one millimetre per month. So if your toes were in our 100 metre sprint race, they'd cross the line in about 8,333 years. But there is a slower moving object on Earth. In 1994 at Trinity College in Dublin, one of the longest ever running tests was initiated, known as the pitch drop experiment. Pitch is a sticky black substance, better known as asphalt or bitumen, and at room temperature it appears to be a solid, but it is in actual fact a liquid. To prove this, the team in Dublin filled a flask full of it and tried to measure how fast it flows from the end. And finally, after 69 years they managed to catch the first drip on camera falling from the flask. Thanks to this test the team have estimated that pitch is around 2 million times more viscous than honey and about 20 billion times more viscous than water.